Hey, Top Hat Waffle here. So this isn't a uh, proper tutorial. Uh, I just saw this uh, post here on Reddit, uh, how to spawn or despawn a brush, depending on what team uh, won the round. The dude doesn't want to use any V code. Um, he means V script, but we're, we're going to use V script. I'm trying to learn V script a little bit better myself. So some stuff like this is kind of fun for me to teach myself. And this is like pretty simple. So we're just going to do it. Uh, some other people are saying to do stuff with logic autos and math counters or adding outputs to a funk bomb target. Uh, but to actually get the round winner easily, we're just gonna use um, event data. So let's just go ahead and pop over the hammer. So we have a map here. So he wants, um, like say if the T CTs win, uh, a path becomes available to T's in the next round. So essentially if CTs win, we want this T side brush to disable. And if uh, T's win, we want the CT side brush to enable. So these are just funk brushes each named those are going to be enabled and disabled so we do need two entities and this one's going to be a logic script uh it doesn't need a name the next one we need is an logic event listener and we're going to name this one uh round event listener the fetch event data is yes and for event name we want round underscore end uh, we find this. This is actually in a dump. Squidski gave this to me, so we want game events. Actually, it's right here. So round end is the event that we're looking at, um, and then we're getting this data out, which uh, with the associated data type. We only care about winner. Um, we'll get we'll get a number out of that depending on uh, what team won. So we need to define a script on our logic script. This is actually going to just be a global uh, variable. Um, not a global variable, a global uh, function. So that means that it will be defined globally across all entities. Uh, but to do anything with that, we need to make the script first. So we're just going to open Notepad++. We're going to save the file to uh, psgo scripts, vscript, uh, round end team dot nut. And once that's done, we can hit uh, any scripts, click this little plus sign, go to on end team nut, hit open. Okay, and that's there. Boom. So now what we will do is we will define the um, global function that we're going to end up calling. So we do that with double colon colon, and then we're going to do round end event, tell it that it is a function, and we are going to get data on it uh, passed into this so i'm just gonna do like in data you can really name that whatever you want this is gonna be actually i'll show you right now so go to the event listener hit outputs click add on event fired just target itself and we're gonna do run script code and we're gonna get this name pop it in there and then event data we're passing it event data table and that is generated by fetch, fetch event data uh, true. We hit apply. Now we just have to actually just uh, write the script really quick. So the first thing we'll do is get the winner value. So a local variable of uh, winner, that's going to equal in data dot winner. That is determined by this right here. It's round end. That's the property or value that we want. Come back here and then print L just put some crap in your console. So we're going to put a bunch of dashes there. So I know when uh, we're in our script code Then another one. So we know when, when we're out, uh, chuck another print L and we'll do a uh, uh, winner value and then plus winner. So all this is going to do is echo back whatever whatever this value is going to be. Um, I did a little testing on this before, and and this is going to be just a number that we get back depending on the winner. But this will let you test for yourself and see what uh, what value you're getting out. If you want to work with other events, um, just experiment for yourself, and, and you'll figure it out. So now we're just going to use two if statements to determine what to do with these brushes. Um, Uh, this first condition is going to be if winner 
equals two, and this is going to be the um, T side. So we'll just do print L um, T side wins. And then we will copy and paste that, and it's going to be um, CT side wins. Copy and paste this, and we'll change this to three. So if uh, the winner variable is, is three, that means the CT is one. And now we need to end fire on those brushes. So this is just manually sending an input regular IO chain um, to those entities. And we can see that right here. We're just going to use this guy here and fire uh, string target string action. You don't need to provide anything else. So we're just going to end up targeting the brush with enable or disable. Uh, so we'll just uh, get the name of the brush really quick. So this brush is CT side. Uh, so it's going to be quote quote CT side. And now we're going to uh, disable it. And we'll copy that and we're going to enable T side. Copy both of these down and enable and disable. So that should actually be it. So to recap, two funk brushes. And how this is going to work out in game is as soon as the round ends, this event is going to fire. We're using funk brushes because they are global. I put air quotes around global. They retain their enabled slash disabled state when the round resets. So it doesn't matter if we enable or disable them um, in the previous round because they keep that state into the next round. Um, if you only want them to enable on the next round, Instead of like we're doing, you have to do some other um, crap with how the round starts or whatever. So um, I'm not going to do that here. This is more just about getting it to do it conditionally based on the team. So the CT will kill the T, and then this brush will disable. And if this one was off, it will enable. And we're doing that by looking at the round end event, which is going to fire a global um, script variable or global script function sorry that's defined on our logic script right here um it is this global function as denoted by colon colon uh that's squirrels you know global thing uh let's compile compile see what happens we'll load map up let's map change team win test one team Do MP warm up and all right. So once this ends, that uh, that side disabled, which is what we wanted. CT is one that side disabled, and into the uh, next round, it's still gone. So we can see here. Uh, so winner value one. That was when there was no. Oh, Okay, dick. Well, anyways, that also illustrates that when I die, um, this other one disables because T's one. So uh, winner value one was when there was no winner. I believe that's just draw from when we restarted the game um, from warm up end. Winner side CT, CT side wins. And this was winner side... Uh, Two T side wins. So let me just chuck de uh, developer two up really quick. And then if you look in the top right of game, you can see that it, you know, instantly chucked that stuff over. So we run the uh, script code, we get our winners, and then we uh, set our inputs to those brushes. That's about it. There will be no editing on this video. It's going to be unlisted. You already know because you can see you have eyes on YouTube. So I'm just going to end it there. Uh, good luck. Have fun and uh, enjoy some B script.